Michael Cahill didn't do his homework on that bit. <laughs> Sarah Q, kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay, Sarah, I'll do my best to have a look at that. Anybody else on Twitter? Uh, Nikki Byrne of Fish, O F F I C, if you'd like to follow me. Um, Mark Feehley is Marcus Feehley. He's uh, M A R K U S F W E H I L Y. That's our Twitter account. So if you want to follow us, it's, uh, it's, it's good fun. And again, thanks to everybody who, who trended me into the worldwide trends last week. And the UK and Ireland did pretty well. Who knows? Maybe I'm there again tonight. Who knows? We'll check later. Anyway, next up, we've got a great song from an ex member of a boy band. Um, huge hit with this great song. Sing along. This is Angels. I'm going to be seeing Robbie quite soon, I think. Um, I'm taking part in Soccer Aid, which is for UNICEF, um, which is on June 6th um, of this year. So if anybody remembers, I played it in 2008 in Wembley Stadium. Um, it was great playing for the rest of the world against England at Wembley was pretty cool for me um, the likes of Figo and De Canio and all those legends playing with, with us against Shearer and um, Redknapp and people so anyway it's on every two years it's on again June 6th in Old Trafford so the chance for me to play live on ITV um, in Old Trafford was too much to turn down and actually Shane I believe is joining me this year as well so um, that's going to be pretty cool day after Croke Park so um, I'll be playing Croke Park in Old Trafford in the space of 48 hours. Two different things, but it'd be good. Good all the same. Anyway, next up, what have we got? Let me see. Let me see. What have we got? We're going to talk about what I've been doing um, last week. We did Jonathan Ross. Anybody see Jonathan Ross over the last couple of days? You can probably YouTube it if you haven't seen it, but um, great fun. I've been a big, big fan of, of Wassy, as, as he's nicknamed. Um, wanted to be on the show for so many years. Um, and you see such A-listers and everybody has on that show, and he's so good. I don't think, I don't, really don't believe there's anybody in the world that's as quick and as funny as this guy is. But anyway, over the years I've seen Take That, I've seen Boyzone, I've seen Blue, Busted, McFly on the show, and we never were lucky enough to grace it. So I launched a, a Twitter campaign and asked everybody why we weren't on Jonathan Ross. So all the people who were following us on Twitter tweeted Jonathan, and he said, OK, OK, we'll have them on. So he had us on. So there you are now. Um, one part of the show that was edited out, which was quite funny, he said, well, after 12 years, lads, he said, we saved the best boy band to last. And, of course, the audience applauded, and we went, ah, listen, Johnny, thanks very much. And he said, so, ladies and gentlemen, take that around next week. So you can imagine how that went down. Well, he didn't put it in the show. It was edited out, but it was very funny. Anyway, Johnny, thanks very much. Wassy, whatever you want to be called. Um, thank you very, very much for that. Play a Westlife song from a brand new album. Our album's called Where We Are. It's out, as everybody knows. And this potentially could be a single along the line. We'll see how it goes. It was co-written um, by Ryan Tedder from One Republic and AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys. This is us. This is... Shadows on 2FM. Celebrity Sunday, it's Nicky Bourne. Welcome back. Just under an hour left. I'm leaving here at 7 p.m. Playing some of my old tunes so far. This next up is a great tune. Prince Purple Rain. Okay, it's time now for Guess the Celeb. And that's your chance. Um, well, we've got two people on the line who have got a guess who the celeb here is, I have in front of me, there's the sound of the paper again. So I've got a, a very famous person here, I'm not going to say if it's a guy or a girl, and um, we've got two callers on the line. Sharon, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey Sharon, where are you from? Um, I'm from Roscommon. Oh, very nice. And your full name is Sharon? Uh, Taylor. Sharon Taylor from Roscommon. Okay, Sharon, hang on there a second. Neve, are you there? Yes. Hey Neve, where are you from and what's your name? Um, Oh, please. Dolan. Oh, very good. Okay, so Sharon and Eve, you know, you know the game, you know how it's played? Yep, yep. Okay, we'll start with you, Sharon. Fire away. Now, at any point, if you want to shout out who you think it is, uh, feel free. Okay, Sharon, off you go. Is it a singer? It's not. Right. Uh, uh, is it a... Yes, Neve, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Um, is it a woman? It's not. It's a man. Sharon, back to you. Uh, is it a sports person? He's not. Um, is he an actor? Nope. Is it a politician? He is. Very good, Sharon. Can I guess? You can. George Lee. Incorrect, Sharon, I'm afraid. Go ahead, Neve, over to you. Um, is he Irish? He's not. Sharon, back to you. Uh, can I guess again? You can. Bill Clinton. It is. Hey. 
<laughs> well done, Sharon. How do you feel? You feel very special now. I do, absolutely. Are you a Bill Clinton fan? Um, well, I was thinking about him during the week when he was having his... Ah, that's your own business now, Sharon. Come on. <laughs> We're live on air here. <laughs> and what do you think of his wife? Do you think Hillary's ever going to be a US president? Um, I'd like to see that she would be. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I'd love to exactly. see you. The first woman president. I've met Hillary and Bill Clinton, would you believe? I'm not going to drop names and all of that, but oh. I think they're very, very, very nice people. Now, you'll have to excuse me because I'm, I'm at work now as well, if you can hear things going on. <laughs> You're working on a Sunday evening? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, Neve. All right, Sharon. Thanks very much for your call. Thank you. We'll Thank send you. some stuff out to you, Sharon, okay? No problem. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Bye. guys. Bye. 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 That's undercover with Baker Street. Okay. It's time for Ask the Celeb. Your chance to ask me any question you like. I've got to answer it, honestly. We've had a bit of fun with this over the past couple of weeks. So we've got lots of questions came in from all over the place. Um, I picked a few out, and um, we'll give it a bash. Okay, first up. Robert loves music and is from Nice. He says, if you want to make it big in the music industry now, do you have to get on shows like The X Factor, or is there another way? Um, I mean, you don't have to do it, no. I, I, I think X Factor has definitely become the the way to do it and um, that's not to say it's the only way but certainly if you if you've got something and you get on X Factor and you're able to get through all the knockout stages or the, the audition stages should I say um, you're putting yourself on on such a um, which is like out there to be noticed I suppose and especially with the viewership it gets at the minute you know 17 18 19 million people in the, in the you know, in the, in the kind of final weeks, it's massive and, you know, you can't compete against that. So if you're on that scale and on that level, you know, you, you're, you're doing pretty well. And it is a chance. It is a chance. But in saying that too, you've got a lot of people out there who can, who are gifted and, you know, can make their, their own records in their bedrooms and, you know, work away by themselves. And, and, and you look at people like uh, Daniel Beddingfield and, you know, all that type of stuff. He made it all himself. Um, and then there's a lot of rock bands out there, I suppose, that are, you know, trying and gigging and trying away, and it is, I suppose, about right time, uh, right place, right time, and a lot of luck. Um, so X Factor certainly is something to go for if you want to, but um, I wouldn't give up if you can't get there. Dave says, Nicky, we're short someone for a five-a-side match this week. Are you around on Wednesday night? Uh, <laughs> I'm not around this Wednesday night, no, but uh, thanks for the invite, and it um, makes me feel special, actually. Kind of football, I was always quite handy in my day. Emer's listening tonight in Galway City and says, Be honest now, Nicky, who gets up the most with the kids during the night? Um, well, they're, they're kind of older now. They're nearly three, so, you know, they'll come into our, our bed at night time during the night and stuff, so we don't, there's not a lot of getting up so much anymore. Um, I suppose there's a few toilet breaks and stuff like that, but uh, generally they're, being, they're, they're quite good at the moment. But um, during, back in the day when they were baby babies, I think we would have probably did it quite evenly. Um, twins, obviously, being different to a singleton and different to, a, to triplets, I, I'd imagine, as well. But definitely, you know, we couldn't kind of lump it just on one of us. Um, but certainly, we definitely helped each other out as much as we possibly could. Georgina, obviously, was, was amazing, I have to say that, don't I? You know, she kept me, kept me, when I was working, she let me sleep on and stuff like that, and et cetera, et cetera. That's what wives are for. Sinead wants to know, what's your ringtone? And have you ever had a Westlife song as a ringtone? Um... My ringtone at the moment is, is a motorbike. Um, I don't know if you want, want to hear it there. If you want to maybe magically somehow call me, you'll hear it now in a second. But have I ever had a Westlife song? Um, don't believe I have had that I can remember. Um, I don't know. I've had, at Christmas time, I sometimes have Christmas songs and stuff like that. Um, right there. Can you hear that? It's very... I can't really hear it. Michael Kyle's ringing me. What does he want? <laughs> no, it's, it's a motorbike. That's what it is at the moment. Thanks, Sinead, for your email. Uh, here's a question on music. Ian wants to know who's the biggest poser in Westlife on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, Ian. I would say... Uh, I'd say we're all... We're, we're definitely all vain and we're definitely all posers. But I know if you asked any of the rest of the boys this, they would say Nicky is the answer to that question. Um, so... I'd say I probably am the biggest poser, but on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to go with 9 for me, and I'm going to go for, with 8.989 for the rest of the boys, um, definitely. So if I am, it's literally by the smallest margin. Um, I'll go with that, and I'm sticking to it. Thank you very much for all those assets, Celebs. I think I'll get out of it again for another week. Um, next week, we'll do it all again. Remember, the email is Sunday 
at rte.ie if you want to ask me a question uh, that I've got to answer. Honestly, right, moving on with the show. Next song up. I can't remember what I was going to play. Michael is looking at me going, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you. So now, this is called improvisation. This is... Snow Patrol. Snow Patrol, and it's my choice. It's just say yes on 2FM. <laughs> if we ever meet again, that's going to be a big hit, I reckon. 2FM, Nicky Byrne, till 7pm, not long left now. Right, anyway, as I said, if you want to email us, it's sunday at rt.ie. Um... This next song means a lot to me. Um, when I first left for Leeds in 1995, I had a girlfriend by the name of Georgina Ahern. And um, I signed for Leeds and had to spend all my time away. And this song was special to both of us, lyrically. Um, here it is, it's Richard Marks on 2FM with Right Here Waiting. <laughs> 